Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alamin. Hasbanillahu wa ni mawakil. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? And yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for no art thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. And surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to Johnny's Bite. It's been raining, so be careful. If uh, children are stepping out to school, give them protective clothing. And drive carefully. Don't overspeed. Don't overtake. It's slippery. So just uh, go and come back so that we can all uh, build Ghana once and for all and, and make sure that we are asking the questions of accountability boldly. Uh, when the light shines, the darkness cannot comprehend it. It's in the Bible. And truth will be bitter like crinine, but it heals. You don't like the taste, but it heals. And we will continue to be speaking truth to power and asking the questions. This morning, I have heard various commentaries about the fight against Galamse, and I, I'm, I'm resolved not to get into it because it's painful. There's uh, an audio, supposed, supposed audio of a DC, another DC who I'm sure will become a poster boy very, very soon, saying and directing people on how to get the Chinese to come and do Galamse because their own people here are not to be trusted. And you want me to come and dedicate my time to fight Galamse. It doesn't make sense. Last Monday, I was supposed to have attended a meeting at the Ministry of Lands and Natural Resources. They wrote to me, chief director signed it. He said the minister directed him. I didn't go because it didn't make sense. How much did we spend in, fight, in, the, in talking about Galamse not so long ago? Five million Ghana cities. Five million Ghana cities. We spent that to talk about fighting Galamse. We spent 12 million to plant trees the year before. This year, we spent another what? How much? Six, seven million. Then we keep talking, talk shop. I say not until you make an example of your own people and you know these people I'm talking about. Not until you make an example of them, I won't waste my time. Because every excavator that is brought into this country has a chassis number like every vehicle. And if the excavator has a chassis number, it means that somebody brought it in. It means that an agent cleared it at the port. Who is that agent? Who were they clearing it for? What is the chassis number? Who is it connected to? How did they get into the bush? Past the immigration, the customs, the forestry guys, past the police. You, these are critical questions, and it's not rocket science. So when you take the motorboard or motherboard, whatever they call it, and you go and burn it, and the people come and replace it, what are you doing? What are you doing? You heard the farmer. And that is the reality. When we spoke about cocoa and we told you that the cocoa production, and you see usually they, they, they ask you, cocoa production, cocoa yield, they want to play semantics with it. We, we are not agronomists. But if we were planting 10,000 trees of cocoa and now we are doing 4,000 trees, there's a problem. So it's not about semantics and definitional issues. What is your cocoa uh, production and yield today? What is it? What is it today? Your cocoa production and yield, what is it today? Your cocoa is being rejected all over the world. Your, your, your water is expensive. You have, you have been blessed with too many rivers. Your water is expensive. In abundance of water, the fool is thirsty. In the abundance of water, the fool is thirsty. This chamfang, it is not manufactured elsewhere. It's manufactured here. They build it here. And it is the same people who are calling us to come and discuss Galamse. Who are the very people who are complicit in this? The same people who are calling us to discuss Galamse issues are the very people who are complicit. I'm not mentioning names. I'm saying the same people who are calling us to discuss. And His Royal Majesty Otufo said, to put it succinctly, Haji Ali Mahama is on record to have said, she knows the MMDCs who are engaged in Galamse. What has happened? No, not a single example has been made of people. We were doing a Galamse fight. You said you will help us. Now you are taking it and playing the Trukanis. This is supposed to be somebody's cocoa. This used to be a cocoa farm. And cocoa is our biggest earner. Look at what it has become. 
And you had a guy in the video. He said, if you don't give us, we will go upstream, mess it up. The water will come, destroy your farm, and you have no option than to give us your farm. So your cocoa is infected with cyanide and whatever. Then every year you are going for syndicated loan. And then PBCs who own the, who own the farmers, they won't pay them. You, you only need to share a PBR for the farmers. You have no, no proper sense for the farmers. No proper initiative for them. Shame on you. Shame on you, pa. Shame on you. Those who do galamsey, they know. And those who engage in it, they know. And those who are pretending to be fighting galamsey, know those who engage in galamsey, they know. So shame on you. Shame on you. God will punish you. For, for making sure that, yesterday I spoke with, um, <clears throat> uh, two days ago I spoke with an immigration officer who said he's been posted to a village. They used to depend on the river. Now the river is so bad, they have to buy sachet water to be cooking and for drinking. When I was a Boy Scout and, and we used to go for, uh, what do you call it, camps, eh? Boy Scout, we used to go for camps, we'd go and do uh, uh, communal labor in the farms. And in the farms, nobody carried water. We drank the water from the streams that were running through the rivers. That was what we drank. We collected it. We, had, we didn't have aqua tabs then. We just had white calico. And then we'll sieve the water and we'll drink it. They use the same water to boil our cassava and, 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 and do the uh, kotomre or adro, abum. And we'll eat it there, right there, on the plantain leaves, right there. Today, the farmers carry water in yellow gallons to the farms. You have been blessed, a nation blessed with water. And we are not even listening. We are now in the Atiwa forest. Go and check who is mining in the Amazon forest. We are now in the Atiwa forest. And our excuse is that we are looking for bauxite to do aluminum. You are now in the Atiwa forest. With all what is happening around you. Brim River and Cobra, this, that, that. And when I started showing it, say, oh, no, no, you are, you are exaggerating. You are exaggerating. Today it is here. Very soon we'll be importing water. The government must deal with its own people. There's a leaked audio of a supposed DC. Excavators are getting missing. Then suddenly excavators are found and then they get missing. Somebody's arrested and then the person is released. And then the next moment the person is doing a media tour. And then the next person, the person is the poster boy for eating galamse. Who are you? Who are you kidding? Who are you kidding? You see, it's the same attitude of unexplained wealth. We just go to sleep, you wake up the next day, somebody is rich. We don't ask how they became rich. We say, oh, honorable, honorable, boss, honorable, that's all we do. We the hail, we the hail, we the hail. What kind of a people are we? And the president said he put his job on the line. The president said he put his job on the line. He put his job, I put my presidency on the line. He did. Is his presidency still on the line? Look at your water bodies. Look at, look at your water bodies. And then you pick soldiers, immigration officers, police officers, national security, and you tell them that they should go 100 meters and strike the water. When you know the Chamfans are 500 meters and strike the water. So then you go and do, see the burning they are doing now. We are burning small, small, small stuff. I say when you catch the guys in the pit, the guys in the pit cannot afford to hire an excavator for a day. Somebody is bankrolling that. So when you arrest the guys, you make a show of them, public show, fantastic. Go behind it. Who sends them there? If you go to a construction site and you arrest the masons there and laborers because the, the building does not have the requisite permit, you, you, you make an example of them. But whose building is it? Ask the question, whose excavator is it? Who are, whose excavator are they working with? Trace the excavator. Trace the chassis number. Trace the owners. When you go to Galamsey sites, there's money there. There's mercury there. There's cyanide there. There is gold there. There are guns there. There are lights there. You only come and declare excavators. All the others, where are they? 